I don't know how to say this to you, but your box feels panas. I don't know whether my story is as scary, but it also has something to do with a hallway. Oh, really? Yeah. So, this happened like many, 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 many years back. I think like almost 10 years back. Uh, and this was in Sabah. So, my mom was there for uh, her association event and some stuff like that. So, this story happens throughout a couple of days. Right before the, the event happened, that's when all the like dog gifts were coming in like all their dog gifts for the guests and all that coming in so they wanted to set it off into my mom's room so the bellboy came and during this time it was about maybe like 6 6 p.m like that so the bellboy came and then knocked my mom's door asked my mom like okay you know i have the things with you uh, do you want me to put it in your room mom was like yeah, yeah you know you just set it on the side here right before he was going to set it in he was like um he asked my mom he was like he was kind of scared to talk to my mom, a little bit like, kind of like, hesitant, hesitant yeah. Uh, but then like, finally he just said it, he was like, uh, Ma'am, do you know what's in your box? And then, he was just like, uh, yeah, it should just be like cups and mugs or, or um, notebooks, you know, just for, like gifts. And then he was just like, mm, okay, and he kept quiet. And he looked very puzzled and stressed. And my mom's like, what's wrong? What's going on? You know, like, are you okay? And then she's just like, um, I don't know how to say this to you, but your box feels panas. So panas. Yeah, and my yeah, panas. And my mom was like, What do you mean by panas? And then I guess for more effect I have to say in Malay, she was just like, Yila, kotak ni dia panas. You know, dia panas. And then my mom was like, hmm, okay, judging from all her experience before, she was like, Alright, fine. Thank you for letting me know. Please take the boxes and send it off back to the concierge. Leave it at the concierge, I'll come and pick it up. So okay, that, that was all done and dusted. Da, 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 da. So for the next two days, because it's over a weekend, uh, the event, the next two days it was fine. The next two days it was fine. And then so after the event it was over, they had like a post-mortem and all that. Uh, had a meeting and all. And then this is where the hallway comes in. So it was after the meeting, like I said, my mom stays on the second or third floor, yeah. right? So that day they just decided, you know what, let's just take the stairs. Let's not take the lift. Let's just take the stairs. So my mom's room is really just like this is the whole hallway. And then this is the end of the building already. Right. So she and her friends were walking up the stairs. Okay, walking up the stairs. So you know, if you walk up the stairs, there's always this here. Um, when she was walking up, she said that she saw like foot of like you know feet walking by, and she didn't think anything of it, and her friends didn't think any of it. Like you know, just people walking yeah, by. Yeah. So then she turned her corner. She turned the corner. When she turned the corner, her room was just about two, three doors down, and she said that she saw a girl, a lady, just standing in front of her room. You know, and had the back to her. It was just standing in a room with like a uh, maybe a denim mini skirt and like a pink shirt or something with long black straight hair. And she's standing in front of her room, not saying anything or doing anything. And like her friends already felt weird. You know, her friends were like, "What's going on? Who is this person in front of your room?" And so my mom was like, "Excuse me, hi, can I help you?" And this thing it got got startled. And then, like I said, she just moved, she walked straight to the end of the hallway and took a sharp turn left. And there's nothing at the end of the hallway. You turn left, you're going to fall down onto the ground. So that's when like her and all her friends, um, they got like the goosebumps, they got goosebumps. And one of her friends was like, let's go, let's go, let's, let's get out of here, you know? My mom was like, no, I want to know what this thing is. She doesn't care. She doesn't care, she doesn't care. She was like, okay. So she walked with like, with with so much like, I don't know what's the word, passion, like, determination, pa yeah, determination bravery. passion, bravery, whatever you want to call it. And she just walked straight to uh, the end of the hallway. She walked straight to the end of the hallway and she was like, I know you're there, show yourself. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I know you're there, show yourself. And she said in a split of a second, that thing came around the corner, faced her, and just like ran past her and her friends and she said that's where she said like she saw the person it w it looked like a chinese girl but with no face so she said that like it ran straight through her went past her oh, you know like response. through her and then went past the friends and she said after that they well, obviously checked out and then they moved to a different hotel down the road. Oh. <laughs> did you say what she felt when the thing went through her? Yeah. She did. She did say she felt a little bit cold and a little bit like, like you know like... A cold gust of wind? Yeah. Well, uh, it's not really a cold gust of wind but she just like, she had to take a breath. She was like, you know like, 
yeah but she she knew that she's like okay i know like i'm very strong inside i believe in god this is not going to like phase me that's what she did so yeah so cool Yeah, I want. Oh, there's a woman in front. Let me pretend. <laughs> <laughs> What? You guys, you guys want me to tell the story? Yeah, we uh, start. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, 